So I'm once again quitting YouTube. I mean, what else is new? To become a house mover. I actually don't know if there's another job title for this. Mover of boxes? Helper of moving? Person who throws things into a box for you and then takes them to your new home? That's me. Welcome to the Z-Side Moving Company. Leave a like to hire us. Okay, I'm excited. Who's our very first client gonna be? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Hello? This is Lauren from Z-Side Movers. How can I help you today? Hi, Steve. This is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Oh, did he just say tonight? Why does everybody want me to work at night? It's my first client though. I can't be picky. I gotta make a good first impression. Sure. Even though you probably just heard everything I just said. We can definitely help you with that. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> can you give me a bit more information about the job? Yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move on my new house. I'll be out tonight so the door will be unlocked. <laughs> Guys, Peter sounds pretty sus. Not gonna lie. But I need a good customer review. So we're just gonna, we're gonna suck it up, okay? Okay, I can come over tonight <laughs> and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Super friendly looking and not at all creepy man. <laughs> sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Lauren. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. Leave a good review. You too. Thanks again. Okay, already, I'm confused. Is this the old house or the new house? I ask because the boxes are already in here. Oh, wait, no, where's the main entrance? Oh, Peter must be religious. That's the only thing in the room. Okay, kind of freak me out. Peter, just a little bit. All for people being allowed to be religious, but like, that was the only thing you put up? Was it to ward off demons? Unless, are we moving you in or out, sir? I can't leave yet. I need to move these boxes first. Okay, oh, are those eyes? Peter? <laughs> Is that you? Why do you live in an alleyway? Okay, none of this seems right. I guess I am moving boxes in for this in here, what? I don't like, okay. Who am I to judge? Uh, it's not, I don't live here. Why do you, ugh. why did you unpack the weirdest things? Like a rug and a TV, but not a TV stand and your cross. Why do you even need me? All the boxes are in. All right, where's this? This one says it must go to the baby's bedroom. Oh, Peter, you got a baby? <gasps> oh, how cute and not at all creepy being in the center of the room. Oh, and of course. Of course, can't forget the cross. Oh, two double crosses. Peter, do you have a demon, baby? Okay, now we need to nicely put the box down. Can we just put it anywhere? Oh, I just dropped it. All right, well, hopefully nothing broke in this box, but uh, there, there we go. Let's throw that down. <gasps> Peter, did you buy a haunted house by chance? I love this show. That was weird. Peter, pretty sure your house might be haunted. This one says it must go in the kitchen. It must go in the kitchen. Peter, what? Where is the rest of the bathroom? <laughs> you just got a toilet room? Just a room for your toilet. Shower? There's no shower, just a fridge. Peter, you got ripped off. Ketchup. <laughs> Peter, I'm pretty sure you got ripped off. You don't have a shower, or a sink for that matter, anywhere, anywhere in the house. Bathroom. What bathroom? You mean the toilet room? Uh, throw. I'd like to just imagine that I'm just holding the box and then just letting it go <laughs> as it goes down. Peter, this was the dumbest job you could have hired me for. This one says it must go in the bedroom. Okay, let's put it over here. You could use it as a nightstand. But seriously, Peter, why? bedroom why did you hire me to move boxes like two uh, you know what just so that you learn a lesson peter i'm gonna throw your boxes dining room dining is spelt wrong peter you're an idiot did you write dining room on the, on the box just so you learn a lesson peter can i put this on the table nope can't incapable just gonna throw it on the floor just so you learn a lesson, Peter, I'm gonna give you more work because you hired me to do a, a job that you could have done. I'm walking boxes 
a couple feet into each room and then just like scattering them about the room. <laughs> Not even unpacking, nothing. I want you to know that this was a waste of money, Peter. There we go. But still leave me a good review for the life lessons that I have taught you. This one doesn't say where to place it. Maybe I should open it? <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's see. Let's go through Peter's things. Because maybe something got lost in tra lost in transit. I know this started out that I wanted to do a good job, but I have come to not like Peter. So this is justified, okay? There is a journal inside and some glasses. You, that's all you packed in a box, Peter? The Snoop, part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something was not right. She kept prying and asking too many questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. Oh, this just happened recently. <laughs> Oh, there's a part two. She started getting too close, asking too many questions. In a moment of frustration, I grabbed a heavy object and struck her over the head. Her glasses flew off her head. She crumbled to the floor, groaning in pain. She lay there, gasping for air, grasping at her throat. I could feel her struggling beneath me as I squeezed the life out of her. It was a small victory. On Valentine's Day, Peter. <laughs> okay, so, so far, I think Peter has killed his wife and now subsequently her snooping sister on valentine's day and there's her glasses so where do i put this box <laughs> where would you like evidence put peter in the living room sure i think i will just leave this here oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god Peter? Why would I not be leaving right now? Oh my god, those were eyes I saw before because they're gone now! Okay, guess I'll just do my job. Also, not to nitpick your layout here, Peter, but why is the baby's bedroom right off of the living room? <laughs> I feel like that's where it's gonna be the loudest. But whatever. This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it. Yes, let's. That went so well last time. Oh no. There's a journal inside and wedding rings. You don't say. The end of a marriage, part one. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me after all I've done for her. She had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything that bad. Sure, I killed him. Yeah, Peter, I'm totally on your side with this. Totally normal, not bad behavior. She was over-exaggerating, Peter. But it was barking too loudly, and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act, holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. Totally uncalled for, Peter. I'm totally on your side. She was out of line. I couldn't let her leave me. I had to make her understand that I was in control. Now, whenever I look at that ring, I'm reminded of how powerful I am. Okay, so this was before the other journal entries. There's the rings. Okay. Peter, why are you taking up one whole box every time to put your evidence in? I'm gonna put it next to the other evidence box over here. That's just some advice from your friendly neighborhood mover person. This is the last one. This one says it goes in the dining room. Okay. All that work made me thirsty. I should go get something to drink before I leave. Wait, but who, what box is this then? Hold on. This one doesn't say where to place it. Maybe I should open it. Open it or go get a drink. I guess open it. Oh, God. Okay, this is after Valentine's Day. So now we're back. Back in chronological order here. The betrayal of a friend. I never should have told my best friend about my wife. It was a moment of carelessness. A slip of the tongue. But what did it matter? He was just another person in my life who didn't understand me. Who couldn't comprehend the power that I held. I mean, everybody likes a confident person, right? <laughs> when he asked where she was, I casually replied that she was buried. <laughs> he laughed it off, not realizing that I was dead serious. <laughs> but I knew I couldn't take any chances. I excused myself to go to the bathroom, but instead I went to the kitchen and found a sharp knife. It was easy enough to sneak up behind him and plunge it into his back. He let out a pathetic gasp before crumbling to the floor. I felt nothing as I watched him bleed out. Damn. Damn, Peter! He was just another obstacle that I had to remove another person who didn't belong in my world. 
do I belong in your world, Peter? Because I would like to. Um, also, why can't I just work a normal job ever? Why? Okay. Why did you keep the murder evidence, Peter? I guess we'll put it with the rest, right? Why am I still here? I gotta go get a drink. Where am I getting a drink? There's no sink or anything. We're just checking his fridge. This is gonna go well. What, anybody's? Anybody's in the fridge? Mm, I bet he won't mind if I just take some of this juice. Time to go. I took juice? From a very obvious serial killer's fridge? That's not juice. <laughs> Was it red? That's not juice. Oh, is there a box blocking my path? This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Oh! Ew, 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 ew. Ew, ew. Oh, thank God it's blocking it. Vanishing act part one. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew that it wasn't enough. The detectives would come looking for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer. So I came up with a plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I too was a victim. That I had vanished alongside my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. Okay, where are you going with this, Peter? I began by staging a break-in at our home. I smashed a window and ransacked the place, making it look like someone had broken in and taken us all. I left a few items of clothing behind, along with some other personal touches, to make it seem more convincing. Then I disappeared. However, to ensure that no one gets close to me, I started learning how to spike drinks with drugs. Although I do not condone this behavior, it makes me feel powerful. You don't condone spiking drinks, but you condone killing people? Where's the line, Peter? Oh no, I drank juice out of his fridge. Does he spike all the drinks? <laughs> I mean, that's on me, my bad. I knew it wasn't a good idea. Ew, ew. Okay, we're just gonna, mm. we, <gasps> uh oh. I think I got my drink spiked. Peter, I'm totally on your side, man. I'm totally, oh no. Do I go back? I'm totally on your side. My dude, could you let me go? Shit, the lights are out. I hope my phone battery. What was, what, 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 what? Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about the crosses. Okay, well now they're all upside down and this is great. <laughs> Peter, are you a demon? Where's the phone? Where's your baby? Very concerned. I can't, oh God, oh God, ooh. I don't know what I just saw. Okay, the fr okay. There's a gross smell coming from inside. I don't dare to open it. But before you were totally fine? Bathroom? Toilet phone? Toilet phone? Nope. Where in the heck? Oh, that's not good. Is it in the baby's room? Oh, this is Okay. Oh, more crosses. Okay. All right, where's this freaking phone? Peter, I'm sorry I drank your juice. Peter. Ooh, getting close to the phone. There it is. Wow, Peter. Never mind, I take it back. You got a good deal on this house. This is huge. Hello? What do you want from me? Your job was to just move the damn boxes, not to open them. <gasps> Peter! Peter? Peter? Oh, I can't move. Peter? Hey! <gasps> damn! Please support this project by rating five stars. Also make sure you rate five stars to Z-Side Moving Company. We will break everything in your boxes and we will go through your personal belongings. Five stars, please.